His love for the game, his desire to put his team first and to sacrifice himself to win, and his dangerous killer instinct are all traits few have matched at Roanoke College. Chris Pollock's talents are also on paper. He is one of just eight Roanoke College men's lacrosse players to be a three-time All-American selection. He played for three coaches, John Pirro, Bill Pilot, and Scott Allison. There's always going to be a little bit of a glitch when you, um, when you have some coaching changeovers, and he was able to endure through that and uh, um, still continue to play at a high level. He played attack for, uh, for John Pirro, played midfield for both uh, Bill Pilot and, and myself. And um, yeah, each year he seemed to be a key player on, 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 on some good teams. He's a three-time All-American, which is pretty rare to do, pretty hard to do. And, and second, he's the only player in our history that played for three coaches. And uh, the important thing there is he excelled under each coach, and, uh, and that says a lot. Pollock earned his national honors as a midfielder in 1988, 89, and 1990, as well as a place on the first team all Old Dominion Athletic Conference three years running. Pollock completed his playing career with 121 points on 62 goals and 59 assists. At the end of the game, his jersey was probably the dirtiest of, of anybody's on the field because he gave it all. And, uh, you know, he did whatever it had to do, diving for loose balls, uh, hitting guys, running through guys, uh, anything that needed to be done to help the team win. So uh, his intensity and work ethic just kind of permeated the rest of the team and really laid the foundation. Uh, you know, for the guys on that 92 team that went to the national championship. To do so many things well, um, I think is special in, in, in the sport of lacrosse. And, 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 and Chris, I think, could really do it all. He could, you know, he could catch and throw with the best of them. He's, he was the fast, usually the fastest kid on the team. Um, he was a threat uh, offensively. On the defensive end of the field, he was never a liability. And in between the restraining lines, um, there wasn't anybody any better. Curtis, it's your ball! also helped lead the Maroons to the NCAA Division III Final Four in 1988. Upon his graduation, Pollock was the 10th all-time leading scorer in the program's history. A member of four Roanoke teams that finished in the top 10 in the rankings, Pollock served as the team captain in 1989 and 1990 and led the team in assists and points during the 1990 campaign. The recipient of the 1990 Paul Griffin Award Pollock helped the Maroons to three Old Dominion Athletic Conference championships and to the NCAA Division III National Tournament twice in 86 and 88. Chris currently resides in Salem, Virginia with his wife Gay, a 1989 Roanoke grad, and their four children, Christopher, Hope, Gray, and Geist. His servant's heart transferred from the field of play to the field of life, building the Rising Star Sports Camp for Kids. He has served as a Maroon assistant coach and also coaches lacrosse for North Cross School. He's one of those guys that has a standing invite to be an assistant coach any season he wants, you know, with my team because uh, he's so good with the guys and his knowledge is so strong. And, and he's just got a positive attitude that really rubs off on the guys and, you know, just uh, enthusiasm for the game and playing it the right way. And, and uh, we love having him around. In the years he did help, he was instrumental in our success. And, and uh, he's a guy I'd have back in a second. Like a lot of us, I think Chris feels uh, in some way indebted to the college for helping him become the person that he is. And I certainly feel that way, and I know a lot of my friends feel that way. And um, you know, Chris kind of exudes that. Um, uh, he reminds me a lot of uh, Bruce Mann in that he's the kind of guy that's walking down the, walking down the hill every time we have an event. and. Uh, always checking in with us and making sure everybody's doing okay and uh, saying hello. He's just a big part of the Roanoke College family. Chris is definitely deserving of this high honor and uh, he deserves it because he worked his butt off every day in practice and in games and uh, he loves Roanoke College and he's a big part of our lacrosse tradition which is rich and strong and he, uh, he's a big part of that and he's a guy we love and, and uh, he embodies Roanoke College lacrosse. Hard nosed, play hard, play with respect and I'll leave it all on the field and that's what we want out of our guys and that's what Chris gave us. The Rono College Athletic Hall of Fame is proud to call Chris Pollock an integral part of the family.